Hello everyone, today we will be learning on how to graph an equation in y-intercept form and then later turn it into a system of equations. So let's start by first drawing our equations. We'll, let's say it will be y equals 5x plus 3. You may be confused, what is y-intercept form? Well, y-intercept form is when your equation is based on or formed off of the equation y equals mx plus b. And when there's two variables or one variable and a number next to each other, it is an understood multiplication over here, where b will be the y-intercept and m will be the slope or how high or low the line will go. So first off, let's graph this equation. Since three is going to be the y-intercept or where the line crosses the y-axis, which is the vertical one line, it is three. So one, two, three. And then you may be confused, how do we graph the slope? we need to know how high or, line or how low this line will go. And let's have another equation as an example. Let's have y equals 2 thirds x plus 4. And let's graph this equation out. Over here it's 4. And the top number is always understood to be how high the line will go. So as it is a 2, we'll go 1, 2. This will be a temporary point. I'll get rid of it later. And then 3 will be right or left based on if the number is negative or positive. So let's go 1, 2, 3. Remove this little point. Then we have a beautiful little line. Yippee ki yay. And you may be wondering how would we solve the other one if there is no denominator? And when there is no denominator, the equation is understood to be a 1 in the denominator because 5 divided by 1 equals 5, and 5 times 1 also equals 5, funnily enough. So, since there is an understood 1 over here, let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, and that will be the line, very slanted line. Now, let's turn this line into a system of equations. So, over here, we will draw this fancy bracket thing, which you may have seen on your school computer. And we will write our first equation on top. y equals 5x plus 3. <sighs> then, let's draw another, write another equation. Let it be x is greater than 4. So, since this equ equation is not, or I guess you can say inequality, as there is no equal sign, you may be confused on how to plot it. Well, as there is no y variable, it is understood that x must always be greater than 4, but the y variable, since we don't know it, could be constantly changing. So as x is greater than 4, let's draw 1, 2, 3, 4. And our line will go like this, because the y is constantly changing. And although you're supposed to make the line go down and make it negative. I don't want to do that because I don't want to disturb my precious work. 
Let's elongate this line so it can fit up nicely. You'll notice that the zero zero point or the origin is untouched by a line. This is important and we will use this in a couple of minutes. Now we got a system of equations, but oh no, we need to graph these uh, four points. So let's disturb our work a little bit. Let's make this line like this. Let's make this line a little bit longer. So now we got four quadrants. Let's name them. This quadrant is A. This itty bitty one is B. This other big one is C. And then this one is going to be D. Four quadrants divided by two lines. And to finally simplify this system of equations, we need to know where is the actual, where do the system of equations match up? To do this, it's always easier to use the origin. So you have to substitute 0, 0 into your equation. Let's first do it on this one. Let's replace 0 equals since x is 0 times anything is 0, and 0 plus 3 is 3, that means we have, or let's change this to equation to inequality, then we have 3 is greater than 0, which is correct, which means for this line, the actual equal part is going to be this area and i'm not going to shade it in let's just shade it in lightly because since the origin is on the right side of this line and this matches up with here it is understood that this is the equal part now for this one let's also do the point zero zero Let's do 0 over here, and this means, z and then we get 0 is greater than 4. Obviously, this is not true, which means the equal part of the line, system of equations, will be this way. This way. And since both uh, lines are both going this way, you can say that C is going to be the correct quadrant because B is before the blue line, A is all the way over here, and D does not match up with the equation. So thank you guys for watching and please like and subscribe. More math videos will be uploaded sometime soon.